Hello everyone, this is part 7 on how to make an RPG or adventure game in Scratch. In this tutorial, I will be improving the player interactions and add a locked gate that requires a key to open, and unlocks new areas. Uh, first off, I just want to say thank you for your suggestions in the comments. Some of you had some good ideas, which I will be adding to the game in this tutorial. Anyways, if you haven't seen parts 1 through 6 yet, check them out, links are in the description below. This game is also on my Scratch profile, link is also in the description below. Anyways, let's get started. So first off, uh, someone suggested that I make it so that the player does not get an apple or stone every time when um, interacted with, because uh, right now when you press space, you are guaranteed to get either an apple or a stone from the apple tree or the stone. So. Let's make it so that sometimes you get nothing. So let's go to our interactable object sprite. And let's go to the clone where it is the apple tree. So that is clone number one. And as you can see, we have the if space key pressed and touching the apple tree. And then it broadcasts the apple. And then player gets an apple. So to make it random, it's actually really simple. Let's go to operators. And let's drag a pick random 1 to 10. And then we need a equals operator. Then let's put that on the left side of this. And let's make it pick random maybe 1 to 2. And then let's put 1 on the right side. So this is really simple. Just um, has a check to see if a random number picked between 1 and 2 is equal to 1. So that's about 50% chance. And let's actually uh, not put this in the and this huge and statement yet, but uh, let's grab a if else statement. And if I don't collect the apple, I want it to show the text that says maybe like apple or, or like nothing found text. So let's drag this in the if else. And let's put this around the um, set collecting to yes and broadcast apple. And then in the else, so if the pick random 1 to 2 is equal to 2, then let's create a new message. So let's go to events, grab a broadcast, and let's create a new message. Let's call this nothing found. Click OK. And now let's drag this inside of the else, of the if else. And then let's also duplicate the wait until space pressed equals 0. So let's right click, click duplicate, and let's drag that after the broadcast nothing found. And um, in our text, we, we need to make the text of the nothing found text show when it receives nothing found. And by the way, um, I already created the nothing found text, which is right here. So yeah. Also, I made all the text uh, pixelated. I forgot to do that last um, video. So yeah. Anyways, let's grab a when I receive nothing found. Then let's just duplicate this thing you get um, when you receive apple or stone. And then let's see. Uh, okay, actually it's going to be a bit different, but let's keep the show. And let's switch costume to costume 5, which is the nothing found costume. And let's go to negative 14, negative 146. And let's wait one second. And you can take this part out. And let's just drag the set is collecting to no after the wait one second. And let's actually drag the hide also in there. And then let's actually drag one more wait one second after the hide but before the is collecting. And that should be fine. And let's actually go back to our interactable object sprite. And we actually want to set is collecting to yes. So let's go to data, drag a set, is collecting to yes. So by broadcasting the nothing found message, um, the player will still not be able to move. So that's why I set is collecting to yes. Anyways, let's try it out. So when the space key is pressed, oh, okay, it said nothing found. And let's try it again. So nothing found again, uh, okay. And then this time, we collected an apple. All right, I think I'm going to have a collecting text show, and then it's going to either show apple found or nothing found. 
So actually, in our nothing found uh, broadcast message, let's um, actually switch costume to costume 3. So this is the collecting costume. Then let's drag it wait 3 seconds. So it's going to be really similar to one of these. Then let's switch costume to costume 5, which is the nothing found costume. And then we can keep all of this. And that should be fine. So let's try it again. So this time, the nothing found shows after the collecting. So this time, yeah, nothing found. And I don't think this is centered, actually. I'm going to move this to the right a bit. Uh, okay, and that should be fine. Let's try it again. Collecting. And apple found, okay. Let's try it again. Collecting and nothing found. So it pretty much works 50% of the time. And let's actually do the same thing with our stone now because we did it to our apple tree. So for our stone, let's go to our interactable object sprite and our stone is clone number equals five. And let's do the same thing we did with our apple. So we can actually um, duplicate this if else statement with the pick random. And we can take out everything inside of it. Let's drag it, oops, let's drag it all the way down to clone number equals 5, which is our clone. And then let's put this if statement around uh, this entire block area. And in our else, let's broadcast the nothing found broadcast. Then let's set is collecting to yes. Then let's drag a wait until space pressed is equal to zero. And that should be fine. So it's pretty much the same thing as the Apple one. Uh, so yeah, let's try it out. Um, okay, I'm going to click the green flag again. Let's press space. And okay, the collecting is actually red. And we don't want that, so because this is a stone, right? So the collecting is going to be brown, or sorry, gray. So let's actually create a new message. And let's first rename this one. So I'll rename broadcast. I'll call this nothing found apple. And let's create a new message. Okay, let's do, let's do that in the inter interactable objects, right? So let's name a new message, call it nothing found stone. So in our stone, if pick random one to two is equal to two, then it broadcasts nothing found stone. And that is different than nothing found apple because it's going to have the gray collecting. So let's duplicate the nothing found apple. And let's only change one thing, which is the switch costume to costume four, which is the gray collecting. So now it should work. Let's try it out. Space key is pressed. All right, collecting. And OK, stone found. Let's try it again. OK. Um, the player is stuck for some reason. That's sort of weird. Uh, let's see. That is really weird. Whatever, OK. Um, anyways, oh yeah, I forgot. I just saw two wait until space press equals zero in our stone, so I'll just probably take one out. Or I might actually leave it in. Uh, yeah, okay. I think in our apple uh, clone, I forgot to add one in, so I'll just add a wait until space press equals zero before all of that. I don't know, okay. And let's try it again. To our stone, press space, collecting. Stone found. Okay, let's try it again. Huh, okay, that's weird. Oh yeah, okay, that's why. Because it's supposed to broadcast nothing found stone. So change the message from apple to stone. Okay, that's why it wasn't working. Alright, let's try it again now. We go up, then we press space, collecting. Nothing found. Alright, that works. Okay, so we made the text um, of the apple and stone found random. 
So yeah. Now um another thing I want to do is to add text when we successfully trade gold in the merchant. So like right now, let me just first get some apples. Collecting apple found, okay. So right now, if we trade an apple for gold in our merchant and we press space, it trades it. But I think we should have some text on the bottom that like reminds us that we traded it. So I already made the text. It says gold received. And that's costume six. So um, in our interactable object sprite, let's go to our Apple merchant sprite, which is number four. So clone number four. And in there, we want to broadcast a new message. So let's drag one in. Change that to maybe gold traded. Now let's drag the gold traded message into the, um, the if statement. So once it trades, it changes gold by one, changes apples by negative one, then it broadcasts gold traded. And let's do the same thing for our stone merchant. So number clone number six. So let's also drag a gold traded in there. Now in our text, we want to drag a when I receive gold traded. Then let's duplicate this. So yep, um, but however this time, we don't need a uh, set is collecting back to no because we never set that to yes in the first place. So yeah. And what else? Let's see. We don't need that wait one second. And okay, once we show, we switch costume to costume six, which is our gold traded costume. Then we go over here in this position. Then let's just actually wait one second and then hide. So we don't need to wait three seconds and then switch costume. Take that out, and now it should be fine. So let's try it out. Let's first get an apple. Collecting. Apple found, all right. Now let's go to our merchant. Let's trade an apple. Then it says gold received. All right, cool. Now let's try it with our stone. Go to our stone. Collecting. Stone found, all right. Let's go back to the merchant. All right. And we press space, and it says gold received. All right, cool. So it works. So, yeah, that's it with my player interactions. And the next thing I want to do is to add a gate that has to be unlocked with a key. So I think I'm going to put the gate somewhere along, like, these walls. As you can see, the... Um, gray area so like over here so I think I'm gonna add it uh, probably down here I think this is a good place to add so alright so since the player is going to interact with our gate we need to make our gate an interactable object so let's go to our interactable objects right and let's create a new costume Let's call this uh, 7, because this is clone number 7. And then I will draw my gate. Alright, so I am done drawing my gate. And uh, I know it doesn't really look like a gate, but it's alright for now. So anyways, this will be our clone number 7. So since we added a new object to our game, we need to create a new clone of it. So let's set clone to number, to number 7. Then let's create a clone of myself. All right, and now let's go all the way down, and let's just duplicate one of the if statements for the clones, and let's put this on the very bottom. Now let's uh, change the clone number equals to seven. So now everything we're gonna do in here is gonna be the stuff we're gonna do for our gate. So let's check if join east, west, north, south is equal to, let's check right now, so that is 0, negative 1. So that is 0, then negative 1. All right. So if the map is equal to this one, then let's show. And let's set uh, the position to, this is negative 5 and negative 174. 
All right. And then let, let's check if distance to player is less than 18 and space pressed equals 1. And we need to check if there's a key. So let's create a new variable. And let's call this uh, key. Let's click OK. And instead of stone is greater than 0, let's check if key is equal to 1. So go to operators, drag in equals, let's go to data, drag in key, and if key equals to 1. So pretty much if key equals to 0, that means you don't have a key, and if key equals 1, that means you do have a key. So this is fine, and uh, yeah, also, let's change the switch costume to 7, which is the gate costume, and then once all of these requirements are fulfilled, let's... Um, we don't need any of this, so, okay, let's set key to zero, because then we have z no key left, because we used it, and for now, let's leave it there. So, yeah, let's first click the green flag again to see if it shows, and there is our gate. All right, and we don't have a key yet, but yeah. But we have our start to our gate. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe too if you haven't already. Again, this game is on my Scratch profile, link is in the description below. So if you want to check it out or playtest it, you can. Also, if you need help on your game, I created a studio in Scratch where you can ask. Link will also be in the description below. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. See ya.